Got some parts in for the Honda four tracks. We're kind of dumb. Uh, kind of took the guy's word that this was a 2003, like I mentioned in the last video. But upon further research, after we ended up ordering parts and everything for it, we thought it was an older one because of the front end, but we're not big Honda guys. So we just kind of took the guy's word for it. And we still haven't found the VIN number. We've still been looking for it. You know, we thought it was gonna be up here, didn't find it. It was also supposed to be like on the back, back here on the frame. And haven't found it so the only tag we've seen is this tag right here this is trx 300 v so we know it's either a 98 99 or 2000 and yeah. you know i ordered parts for a 2003 so we're gonna try yeah, to make this a, stuff work and see if it works but yeah kind of a mistake on our part like so we're still learning obviously as you can see it's still dirty so we haven't cleaned it up yet that's how we found the vin number on the articat after cleaning and degreasing everything it was just covered in oil and whatnot so once we clean this one up, take all the plastics off, we'll really try to look for the VIN number then. But we're thinking, what were you saying, 98, 99? Is that what you were saying? 1998, 1999, or 2000. Yeah, one of those. You can kind of see the starting solenoid right here. The wire's a little bit shorter. The, yeah, it's a little bit smaller then. Yeah. This is the new carburetor for it. Once again, we think it might be the wrong one, but we're going to try it out and see if we can't get it to work. Because you said this was for a 350? Yeah. The carburetor? Yeah. So this is for a 350, obviously we have a 300. All right, as you can see, we got the old carburetor here. This is a new one. This is the only difference that we can see that is uh, with the 350 versus the 300. So obviously you've got your diaphragms both on top, obviously your butterfly valve, you've got your idle, your uh, fuel line right here. So everything is looking pretty much the same. The only difference is this wire, and uh, we're just not sure exactly. We gotta do some research and figure out what this wire goes to. But, but on this it, one, you yeah. can see there's there's threads there for something like this, but it's just not in there. So I guess between the 300 and the 350, I don't know if this was like a fuel cutoff switch or something, or a safety feature of some sort. We just gotta do some research and figure out what it is. But besides that, everything else looks like it works. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw the new one in and see if it'll idle. So I was going to show you guys a cool comparison between the new air filter and the old filter because you guys just seen the comparison between the old carburetor and the new carburetor. I was going to do the same thing with the fuel filter, but me and Jonathan were just looking for the old fuel <laughs> filter and there was none. So I guess it was going straight from the gas tank straight to the carburetor. Is this even the new one? I think even the same size. Oh, well, crap. Well, I guess we're going to throw some old gas and the new carburetor, but it's all good. But like, we're going to try to get it to idle. Came with this line for the for the fuel. That's what this goes on. Look. <laughs> what four wheelers using that small of a line? <laughs> Johnson took up the fuel line. Got the starting fluid it's on. Got the terminals hooked up to the car. Key on. New spark plug in the uh, new ignition coil. We might have took or fried that ignition coil. You ready? Yeah. No spark. Alrighty then. Oh, this ignition coil is toast. Wasn't for this one anyway. Yeah, that was the one we thought was wrong <laughs> anyway. Back working on the Honda Four Tracks. Hopefully, we can get it started today. So we had to order some more parts because we thought the year was different. That's a whole nother long story, but we got the right parts in, we hope, this time. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it's just, an, it's the same. Yeah. Nice. This is just from no name yeah, Chinese. Says, Looks the same though. Yeah, we can toss it in there and see. So yeah, hopefully we get the four track started today, but you guys will be along with us for the ride. The new starting solenoid, new ignition coil, and got the gas tank back on. We got the new carb on there as well, so we're trying to prime the carb right now, get some fuel in there. Got it hooked up to the car as well because the battery's still low.
So it's a couple hours later, still having the uh, no crank issue. Then we found out we have no spark again, even with the new ignition coil. As you can see, we got the plastics off. Uh, went ahead and took the winch off. We're still looking for the VIN number. As for the no spark issue, we're thinking that maybe the CDI box has gone bad. We're about to test it. And then also where the stator is at, we should be able to follow this cord down to the exciter so we might go ahead and test it as well but we're definitely having a no spark issue right now on the honda 300 seems like everything's getting power down here we went ahead the kit the new kit comes with a new cdi box new ignition coil and new spark plug right yeah pretty much everything for the ignition wise so that should be here in a couple days but as of right now it's pretty much going to stay uh torn apart to the new parts come in and we will catch back up with you guys in a couple days. All right, I don't even remember what day it is. We've ordered so many parts for this thing. Uh, still having trouble figuring out what year this is. So we got the new CDI box in. Another new ignition coil. <laughs> the third one. Third, fourth, fifth one. I don't even know at this point. As you can see though, this CDI box plugs in from the rear and there's like two separate uh, connectors this one comes in from the top which isn't you know that unusual it has one connection so once again we ordered this one it was a 97 98 99 or 98 99 2000. 98 99 2000 we're assuming the honda is that year because we're going off the fenders i think i already mentioned it but we think that the vin number we can't find it anywhere else but we think it was either right here or right across this cross member but this plate was welded in uh, after so for the winch and we just can't find the VIN number anywhere else. From everything we see online, apparently it's supposed to be on that left footstool around this area. But we do not see it anywhere. So definitely if you guys are Honda fans, let us know what we're missing, what year you think this is. Because I think this is like the second week we've had this thing. We've just been ordering parts left and right for it. And we're kind of blowing ignition coils right now because we just don't know what to look for. Because we don't know what year it is. So we tried a couple different parts. Hopefully we have the right spark plugs and everything like that, which it should be fine, but we definitely know we have the incorrect CDI box. We're gonna try the new ignition switch. Also trying to mess around with the kill switch because we know sometimes what we've seen online, these can kind of throw it off where it won't crank. Uh, won't have spark. It'll or it won't have spark, I'm sorry, it'll crank. And we're also gonna try to throw the CDI box. Jonathan saw something online where you can put this in the oven for a certain amount of time, flip it upside down and somehow it works. I'm not sure if that's a Honda thing or what, but we might try to give that a shot as well. After we try a couple other things, we throw that in the oven. But we are gonna go ahead and return the other CDI box. And uh, if we need to, we'll order the right one. We just gotta figure out what year this is. It is cake and dirt. Finally found the VIN number. It was indeed underneath that plate that they had the winch on. So we're gonna clean this up and finally figure out what year this is. All right, making some progress on the Honda. Uh, turns out our litter is V, which would make this a 1997. So that would make sense why our parts aren't working because we've been ordering parts for a 98, 99, 2000. And turns out it's a 97. So we were wrong on the uh, plastics. We thought it would be a 98, 99, or 2000. But turns out it's a 97. So now we can actually start ordering the correct parts for this thing and hopefully get it fired up. I'm about 25, uh, maybe 10% that it's going to work. 10%? I don't think so. So just put the CDI box back on the four tracks. We let it bake in the oven for about an hour at 200 degrees. We're going to give it another shot. See if it made any sort of difference. Ease on, uh, kill switch on. All right, gonna test the kill switch. Right now we have it on off. No continuity. We'll turn it to on. Kill right. switch works. Kill switch works. All right, now we're gonna check the wires for the CDI box. Uh, yellow, white. Yellow, white. Green. 
green, green, uh, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, that's good, uh, yellow, black, yellow, black, and then green, and green, so, wiring harness is good, so, it's either CDI box or stator which I'm leaning towards CDI box because that's a main problem on these Hondas is the CDI box burning out. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Tried the oven trick, didn't work. I guess we're part of that 25% where it doesn't work. <laughs> it's a few hours later. Luckily we were able to find a used CDI box online. Another thing about this one is there's like cracks all around the edges that was kind of holding in moisture. But uh, we were able to find this one online pretty cheap. It was about an hour or so away, so we just ran and grabbed it, and we're about to plug it in for the first time. Alright, plugging in the new used CDI box. Maybe we'll get lucky. Turn the key. We've got neutral light, so we know that's good. Alright, let's see if we have any spark. This doesn't spark. <laughs> what did I do with my screwdriver? It's right here. I swear to God. Alright, uh, we got we got it on run. Alright, here goes nothing. You ready? Yep. Is it not sparking? No, it is. No, really? <laughs> yeah, it's sparking now. God, yeah, I was about to say that was two hours wasted. <laughs> we, got, we got spark now. Okay, sweet. Alright. So, Fingers crossed, it was a CDI box. All right, it has been a long day. This will be the first crank. Kill switch. You want to do it? Do you want to do it with it? Do it first without it. First without Just it. Just to see. All right, you ready? to where we were before the CDI box crapped out on us. So we knew we have spark now with a new CDI box, new coil, and a spark plug, but it looks like it's only wanting to run off of the starting fluid. Didn't sound like any fluid or any fuel was inside of here, so my guess is there is nothing, which there's a tiny bit. So we think we made a discovery. We have the gas tank right here, fuel line back to, connected to the carburetor, and currently we're set to off. If you turn it to on and let the float down, no fuel comes out. But now if you go to a reserve, which is straight down on the fuel tank, and let go of the float, it comes out. So we've had the fuel turned on the entire time. We're thinking that there might just not been enough fuel in the actual tank for, I guess, for it to be turned on. There's always like half a gallon for the reserve. So whenever you run out of fuel, you turn to the reserve and you got like half a gallon left. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's going on here. So we're going to put everything back together and put it down to reserve and see if it'll idle on itself. Now that's how an accelerator pump is supposed to feel, dude. That's, dude, before it felt like nothing. Now you can actually feel it press in. You right can right. hear the fuel too. All right, so we will get lucky. All right. Fuel switch on. Neutral light. Get this handy just in case it wants to run away because we haven't tuned anything yet. But, All right. You ready? Yeah. or anything I don't see anything so pretty much a $20 CDI and a $10 coil well is, oh, we're gonna, get, we're gonna get a battery as well yeah and then a, um, a $40 carburetor which we could have rebuilt it for 14 but under a hundred bucks to get this thing running Not bad. dude and the winch works I don't know if I said the winch we did yeah with the winch works we, we tested that out 
Have the four tracks put back together, have the plastics back on, cars back on, gas tanks back on, no battery, we've got to buy a new battery for it. Racks are back on. Uh, the winch we did not put back on, as you guys seen earlier, the VIN numbers underneath that plate. We're actually going to take this little plate off and uh, probably put the winch back on there. We haven't decided yet. We are going to get a different set of headlights for it. But it is running and driving. Sorry if this video is kind of all over the place. This thing had a bunch of mysteries to it, but we figured it out. Finally figured out what year it is. Finally figured out what parts we needed for it. A lot of the mistakes were on our, on our end, but figured it out. It is at least running now. We don't know if driving yet. So we, that is going to be the next video. We're going to go ahead and close this one out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, sorry if this video was kind of all over the place, but we got it running. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Let's see if it's driving in the next video. Thanks.